Okay, well, we're looking at the trends of electronegativity in the periodic table. This will help us uh, later on when we're looking at uh, whether a molecule is polar or nonpolar. Although electronegativity is the last of three steps to look at for that decision. So, as with all trends on the periodic table, they vary between lower left and upper right. So upper right is where we have a highest with fluorine, and lower left will be our lowest. So whenever we look at these trends, we'll be looking at whether things are above or below, right or left, and also whether they're on a diagonal between the upper right and lower left. We're not going to have any diagonals going in the opposite direction. So fluorines are highest with a, a value of 4.0, and then as you move away from fluorine, it drops off. So oxygen is a 3.5, nitrogen is a 3, which matches chlorine right underneath, underneath fluorine. And we slowly move away. So when we're asking about trends, whether something's going to be more electronegative or not, which helps us with our Lewis dot structures. We have odd electrons. Uh, um, we just look for this general trend. So on problem from the double-sided worksheet, problem 1A, we're asked to rank sulfur, arsenic, and strontium. Sulfur is over here. Arsenic is on a diagonal, lower left of sulfur. And strontium is way over here on the left side of the periodic table. So sulfur is going to be our highest value. It's going to have our greatest electronegativity because it's the closest to fluorine. Arsenic lower left that would be smaller. And strontium, which is left and lower, or left and lower, will be our smallest one out of this set. But we'll use our electronegativity to help us decide where to put the odd electrons when we do loose structures and to help us to predict whether uh, molecules are going to be polar or nonpolar. But this is just a simple ranking between the highest up in the upper right with fluorine and the lowest down the lower left. We don't assign values to the noble gases since they do not react and form covalent bonds.